we're going to do here the gear arm drawing um, and we're going to do it here in decimal and we're going to remember that we begin with strong base lines and base circles and sometimes it's not a bad idea to draw those base lines of right length if you can and so we're going to start and get that center line by clicking a line here taking a hand off if we've got the ortho one and typing 86 and escape 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 z space e space or double click and then we're going to go ahead and ex we've got the 86 distance there and then we're going to put in a line that kind of describes the two center lines of the major holes and what's going to be all kinds of different ways to do it but one way would just be to offset through a distance up here just arbitrary offset through and then L for a line from the shift right click end point of there to the shift right click end point of there and then remember offset through shift right click the end point of there and we've kind of got now with these gone here the establishment of the two kind of ends of the major 86 baseline we then put our strong base circles in we have a large circle there with a radius of 54 shift right click I'm sorry, remember we do the circles from the pull down, center radius from the shift right click, the intersection with a radius of 54. We've got that one out there. We then have something turned here at 80 degrees. Left click, left click, space bar, space bar, C for copy. It's a positive because your thumb's coming out of the board. It's 80. We now have a center that we have an established. Um, kind of two points there we also of course have an established line going out here and so we can extend ext spacebar spacebar I'm sorry ext spacebar ex I made the same mistake someone did in class ext is a 3d command and it takes you into a 3d world so I'll show you how that can take you down and why it shouldn't take you down in a little bit Extend spacebar, screw that, hit the extension through there. That doesn't seem to work here, so I must have something set wrong here. Try it one more time. You see, I've lost my toolbars on the right. Right click, keep modify up. I'm going to use the extend toolbar. Boundary edges, no. And it won't let me extend that out. And that will probably be because something is screwed up in my settings so sometimes you see that's exactly what happened here when I listed it, it was an extruded surface because at some point I had hit the wrong button I can just erase and say L from the intersection back shift right click perpendicular to so you'll see sooner or later you're gonna probably put something in 3d that you didn't want to so if something's acting weird we're gonna talk about how you can go about figuring out why it's acting weird. EX is extend spacebar, spacebar. Now that extends out. It's a great idea sometimes to break and then extend. Screw that. Click, click, and we've got this kind of long. Zoom E. And we've kind of got the baselines laid out here. Now that would seem like it's not all the work but it's a large large part of the work I will let you know so what you have here they show you basically the 12.75 and so what you've got is a in the end you've got circles that swing around that and so what you want to do is you want to do two circles of 12.75 diameter on the two ends here you do that by circle diameter shift right click the intersection of that diameter of 12.75 and of course you can always go left click left click spacebar C for copy got your ortho off shift right click the intersection that has the that's the inside there you have the outside as a radius of 12.7 so you could do the same here and we'll see what we do about that. The radius here, we can do circle, center radius, shift, right click, 
the intersection of that with a radius of 12.7 and again spacebar I'm sorry we, we collect click left left click spacebar C for copy shift right click to the intersection and we realize I did that in two steps I only needed to do it in one we can now essentially get that whole swinging arm done by using an offset through in this case you'll need to extend that line out because where that is going to be tangent is going to be right here and here and so I can extend screw that once twice and now you can offset through shift I'm left clicking and then shift right clicking the intersection there do it again for this one shift right click the intersection there do it again for this one shift right click the intersection there and once again shift right click the intersection there we now have essentially something we can trim to TRIM and this time we can go here and here so we've grabbed the two circle edges so we can click all the way around there and there do the same thing use these as my two edges and click back here and here and now we use these as my two edges I'm trimming each time and I can click back here in here and you have that generally one more time here and here are my two edges and so that trim command for the first time you're using without you kind of screw that mentality and now you can really start to think get things together if you start selecting things and put them on the proper layer so I'm left clicking going all the way around using a selection set set of skills changing that to object when that happened, you might get freaked out because you think it went away. Remember that sometimes you have to make sure you turn on all your layers. So in this case, the object layer I had turned off, and so it looked like it went away. It was not there. And there, of course, is that box that's sitting around. I forgot one thing, which was to draft a box bigger than the thing I'm drafting. We'll let that go for now. We now have a circle of 9.52 and 15.88 probably not a bad idea to go center object here draw a circle diameter shift right click from the intersection of here and 9.52 and once again center diameter and you can learn to kind of you don't always have to go up eventually to that you can learn to kind of use other tools the radius here is 15.88 Okay, we're at nine, about seven, eight minutes right now. We've got an exterior circle out here. I don't know that I'll finish this whole thing out, but I'll be very close. So I'm going to put a circle with a radius of 25.4, or essentially circle center radius. Shift right click at the intersection here of 25.4. There's my large circle there. And we then have an identification that the center of that circle here is 19.05 off. So we're going to offset 19.05. Take that and put it off. And I'm going to pause right here, come back and kind of think how I'm going to talk about discussing this next bit with you in terms of what a tangent tangent radius is. But you'll see at some point we need to have a line that comes through and connects with that. That is uh, the sum of the two radii. So I'm going to hit pause right here. I'm resume here. There's all kinds of different ways to do this. But I'm just going to offset this line now, 12.75. So I'm doing an escape offset 12.75. And when I offset, that right there I know I have a circle here that's going to be my intersection of my tangent tangent radius my circle here so I'm just going to go ahead and hit here center line draw a line from the shift right click the intersection of that to the intersection of that and I know that is going to work where my tangent tangent radius is I'm going to draft a circle here from the intersection here shift right click to the intersection there 
And now we finally have something that we're going to draw a line that's tangent to this and tangent to that. That's a deferred tangent. I'm going to pause and that'll be the last thing I do except for the thing on top. Here I go. We're going to use the deferred tangent. We're going to go line, shift, right click, tangent to this. Got the wrong one. Line, shift, right click, tangent to this. And shift, right click, tangent to this. And then we're finally going to do a tangent, tangent radius after we break it. So I'll pause one last time. Circle, tangent, tangent radius. Tangent there, tangent there, radius of 51. And for all intents and purposes, you've got your drawing done with a couple of trims. Thanks for listening.